There's a new update to Windows 8.1, an update that makes it more friendlier for people who don't have touchscreen computers, who are used to using a mouse, or who are using a trackpad. This is Nick from Microsoft Product Reviews, and we're going to take a quick look to see how this update makes Windows friendlier for people with non-touchscreens. Desktop users, power users, and non-touchscreen PC users. Update 1 for Windows 8.1 targets you, and it's available through your Windows update now. This update is designed to make the modern start screen environment and the modern apps more user friendly for those who use a mouse or trackpad. It's also the first update which starts to merge the desktop to the new modern windows. Trackpad and mouse users had a worse user experience with the start screen and the new modern apps. But things are changing as Windows evolves to accommodate everyone. Microsoft is now starting to merge its new modern computing environment to the traditional desktop environment with this update. The first thing you'll notice in the start screen is the addition of the shutdown and search buttons in the top right corner. It makes shutting down and searching one step faster now that unveiling the charms menu isn't needed. Desktop users can now run modern apps in Windows with the familiar minimize and X to close being present. This makes it much easier to close apps with mice and trackpads. Pulling down on the apps with the cursor just didn't really feel natural. It's meant for touch. There's also a menu as you click on the icon of the app you're running in the top left corner, giving you menus to split the screen either to the left or right, maximize or close the app. Windows now knows when you're using your mouse and will display things for you differently. Modern apps run in windowed environments. Internet Explorer shows the address bar and tabs differently, much like the desktop version, in smaller sizes instead of the large size when using touch. There's also a nice melding of the two environments, where as you scroll down and hover your cursor at the bottom of the screen, in any modern app or the start screen, the familiar taskbar appears, which allows you to use it in the same way as in the traditional desktop environment, but also works with new modern touchscreen apps, as they can now be pinned to the taskbar. Desktop and power users who like to stay in desktop mode don't have to switch back and forth between the two environments to use modern apps. Windows Store icon is also pinned to the taskbar by default, which is much more accessible now to desktop users who don't have to go to the Metro environment to find it. Right clicking in live tiles shows you a different looking menu now, a mouse friendlier one which is more compact and beside the actual live tile, not at the bottom of the start screen. There's more subtle changes such as the option to go to the control panel one of the PC settings menu, which wasn't present before. The addition of a settings tile which can now be pinned to the start screen or the taskbar. Accessing it from the charms menu is easy but having an option to have it on the screen is nice. This update is a tiny update compared to Windows 8.1, which was a huge overhaul to the touch-friendly modern environment. But it's an important step to accommodate all type of PC users, whether on a tablet, laptop, or a giant projector. There's more updates to come that'll evolve the modern environment, but more importantly, merge the two environments gently in ways Windows 8 didn't, to also get the desktop user more comfortable using new modern apps and ease them into the new modern Windows gradually. So there you have it. That's the little differences in the new update to Windows 8.1. It may not be much, but it makes it easier to use Windows with a mouse or a trackpad if you still prefer to use the Metro environment. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up and visit our website for more information, microsoftproductreviews.com. And thanks for watching.